Hi there. Today I'm going to show you what your Pressbooks content looks like once you pull it into Blackboard. So as an example here today, I've got my LTI demo book. I've got uh, three chapters here nested under the reading exercise part of my book. And I want to go ahead and pull this content into Blackboard. So the way I would do that is I would simply navigate to the export uh, function over here. And then I would export my, co my content uh, as a common cartridge 1.1 export with LTI links. Now, once I click export my book, my download uh, will be available here in, uh, in the latest exports list. And all I would have to do to download this onto my computer is simply click this button here. Now, once you've got your book downloaded, you can pull it into a course on Blackboard. So I've already done this for a course here, but I'll give you a quick overview of how you could do that. So the way I've pulled uh, content in, uh, you can see my import was completed already, but the way I did that was under the course management section, all I had to do uh, was go to packages and utilities and click import package. And then all I did was uh, after clicking this button here, um, I was able to select the file from my computer and uh, I simply clicked submit and I pulled all of the content in. So to show you what that looks like now that the content is in my course, you will see here, you'll see the title of my book, which in Pressbooks is titled the LTI demo book. And now you'll see my main part, which is called reading exercises, where I had those three chapters, chapters nested under. So if I go to open up uh, the reading exercises, I'm now gonna see these three chapters. And this is what your students are gonna see as well. And this is where they can read through the content that you've created on Pressbooks without ever having to navigate away from Blackboard. So to give you an example of what this looks like, uh, oops, sorry, I've opened that as a new link. Let me open up another one here. So to give you an example of what it looks like, is uh, your content will now be hosted directly in Blackboard so the student never has to navigate away and they can go through and read the entire chapter and uh, use the play around with the H5P activities to test their knowledge and they can do all of that from within Blackboard. They can also use Hypothesis from Blackboard, the annotation tool. So for example, if they wanted to um, highlight or annotate, they could do so and they would have access to their uh, annotations directly in this interface here. Um, now that's something that a student can set up by simply creating an account on Hypothesis. The account is free and you as an instructor would simply need to enable Hypothesis on your book to allow students to go through and highlight as they desire and add notes. Um, so similar to how a student could do that in a printed textbook, they can now do it online as well. So now that I'm going through this uh, from a student's perspective, um, as you saw, there are a few H5P activities built in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the activities, test my knowledge, and then I will show you what those results look like in the LMS gradebook. So if I scroll to the top here, let's just make sure I'm going through all of the H5P activities in this chapter, and I will start answering them. So let's test my knowledge here. So far, so good. I'm gonna move along. Who is Lincoln's general? It was Samuel Whiteside. So far, so good. Black Hawk was the leader of the Sock people, future president. Lincoln served in the Black Hawk War, and Black Hawk was 65. Now, here you'll see the instructor gave me a little hint. They said the capital is Madison, so I know this is Wisconsin. So I will check my results here. And now here's another activity, uh, which is uh, where you get to select the words. So in this case, I'm selecting the rhyming words. So sold, old, bloom, and room would be the correct answers. But you can also use this activity type to, uh, for example, in a language course where you would have the student select uh, the verbs that are properly conjugated. That would be another way that you could use this H5P activity. So I've got the answers correct there. And then I just have two last true or false questions. And one more, finish. Okay, so, so far I should have 100% on this chapter. And I believe there's one more activity embedded here at the bottom. Uh, this is some, some dummy content here, so I can see this answer is incorrect, but these three are correct. Uh, so I will check. And uh, now I've completed this activity. There's no more content left in, uh, in this chapter. So as a student, I can navigate back to the course 
and then I can go to the grade center and see how I performed. So if I go to my full grading center here, I will see my, my name. And then if I scroll over to the side, we're gonna see, oh, sorry about that. There we go. Now if I scroll over to the side, I can see my performance on each one of those activities. So you can see I did quite poorly on the Portuguese lesson because I don't speak Portuguese. Um, did a little bit better on the anatomy lesson and then I got 100% just now on that poetry assignment that you saw today. So here you'll see my score and then right here, this is the weighted total of all three chapters. So that gives you an overview of what the content looks like once you pull it into Blackboard and what the functionalities are once you link it up with your gradebook. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to answer those. Thanks.